हेलो एवरीवन आर टूडेज टॉपिक ऑफ दिस लेक्चर इज पेस्ट कंट्रोल देर आर वेरियस मैथड्स टू कंट्रोल पेस्ट विच इंक्लूड केमिकल्स एज वेल एज बायोलॉजिकल मेजर्स सो इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग द बायोलॉजिकल पेस्ट कंट्रोल नाउ इफ वी गो बाय द डेफिनेशन बायोलॉजिकल पेस्ट कंट्रोल इज द यूज ऑफ लिविंग ऑर्गेनिज्म or utilization of a pest natural enemies to control pest population below damaging levels so simple words mein hum keh sakte hain ki hum ek organism ka use dusre organism ke against karte hain so that uski population ko control kar sake now there are four types of pest control and the first one is classical biological control in this method of biological control we intentionally release new species of natural enemies with the intention of suppressing the densities of a target weed or insects permanently so yahan par hum insect population as well as weeds dono ki population ko control karne ki koshish karte hain जनरली जो टारगेट पेस्ट होते हैं वो टिपिकली इन्वेजिव स्पीशीज होती हैं और नेचुरल एनिमीज को उनके एरिया में इंट्रोड्यूस करने से उनकी पॉपुलेशन को कंट्रोल किया जाता है सो दिस मेथड इज अ मेजर टूल इन रिड्यूसिंग द इम्पैक्ट ऑफ इन्वेजिव स्पीशीज बोथ इन क्रॉप एज वेल एज नेचुरल एरिया सेकेंड वन इज Augmentative biological control. इस biological method से हम generally commercially reared natural enemies का use करते हैं और इसमें जो target होता है हमारा वो होते हैं generally greenhouse और outdoor crops के pest. And this approach is mainly used against pest insects and mites, but not against weed as in the classical control. इसमें जो नेचुरल एनिमीज यूज किए जाते हैं वो प्रीडेटर एज वेल एज पैरासिटॉइड्स बोथ होते हैं एंड द वैल्यू ऑफ दिस अप्रोच डिपेंड्स ऑन इट्स एप्लीकेशन द थर्ड मेथड ऑफ बायोलॉजिकल कंट्रोल इज इनोक्यूलेशन इसमें बायोलॉजिकल जो एजेंट है वो एक उसका एक पीरियोडिक रिलीज होता है एंड दिस बायोलॉजिकल एजेंट इज रिक्वायर्ड which is available throughout the year so inoculation is basically widely practiced in the control of arthropod pests in glass houses where crops are removed along with their pests and their natural enemies at the end of the growing season so ye crop harvesting ke baad inoculation methods ko use kiya jata hai while augmentative and biological methods both are not used after harvesting and the third approach is inundation in this there is a release of large number of natural enemy jisme ki pest ko at present time kill karne ke aim se release kiya jata hai now the types of biological agents which are being used for biological pest control are following the first one is predator now in case of predators they eat their target prey as you can see in this video some common predatory arthropods are mentioned here among these one important one is ladybird beetle here you can see in this video this ladybird beetle controls the population of aphids so it is a natural enemy of aphids and if it is introduced in the aphid infected areas then it naturally controls the population of aphids the other important arthropods are carabid beetles staphylinid beetles cirrhid flies lace wings minute pirate bugs nabid bugs big eye bugs and sometimes spiders also help in natural enemy control now the next one is parasitoids 
they differ from parasites in the fact that they do not eat their host directly in fact these parasitoids they lay their egg in or near the host insect as we can see in this video this is a technetid fly and what it does it injects its fertilized egg into the caterpillar this is the caterpillar so it lays its white oval eggs on the back of caterpillar and other insects and when the egg hatches it enters the host and kills it so parasites often require a source of food in addition to their host insect such as nectar or pollen the third category includes pathogens so pathogens are the disease causing organism just pathogens infect other animals so do they in fact the insects and the main group of insect disease causing organism are insect parasitic bacteria certain fungi some protozoans viruses and nematode so jab hum pathogens ki help se biological control karte hain then it is called as microbial control as we all know and we all have heard about the gm crops that are genetically modified crops so in genetically modified crops the most commonly used pathogen is bacillus thuringiensis they are also called bt crops so the name is derived from this bacterium bacillus thuringiensis so the bt is used to control the insect pest population other insect pathogenic pathogen is fungi and it includes vivaria metarrhizium and paleopsilomyces and generally all these fungi are commonly used against foliar insect pests in greenhouses and the places where humidity is very high जो नेक्स्ट कैटेगरी है पैथोजेंस की जिन्हें यूज किया जाता है दैट इज वायरसेस और वायरसेस में एक कैटेगरी होती है वायरसेस की दैट इज न्यूक्लियर पॉलीहीड्रो वायरसेस एंड ग्रेनुलोसिस वायरसेस दैट इज एनपीवी एंड जीवी वायरसेस सो दीस टू टाइप्स ऑफ वायरसेस आर यूज्ड टू कंट्रोल कैटरपिलर पेस सो द इंसेक्ट पैरासिटिक देयर इज अनदर कैटेगरी ऑफ पैथोजन द निमेटोड्स which includes stinia nermeia and heterorhabditis which infects soil dwelling insects and since they occur naturally they are they can also be purchased so here we can see as with all biological control agents it is specially important to match the correct microbial control agent with the correct pest so that they are more effective for biological control method अब हम सभी जानते हैं कि जो भी मेथड्स हम इम्प्लॉय करते हैं इट हैज इट्स ओन एडवांटेजेस एंड डिसएडवांटेजेस। सो फर्स्ट वी विल डिस्कस द एडवांटेजेस ऑफ बायो कंट्रोल एजेंट्स सबसे इम्पॉर्टेंट जो एडवांटेज है इनका दैट ये इन्वायरमेंटल फ्रेंडली होते हैं और इनका कोई साइड इफेक्ट्स नहीं होता द सेकेंड वन इज इन कंपेरिजन टू द केमिकल्स दैट इज पेस्टिसाइड इंसेक्टिसाइड विच वी यूज बायोलॉजिकल जो कंट्रोल्स हैं उनकी कॉस्ट कम होती है ये इजीली अवेलेबल होते हैं इजी टू यूज हैं एंड दे आर इफेक्टिव थ्रू आउट द सीजन एंड लास्ट नॉट द लीस्ट दे हेल्प इन रिड्यूसिंग द यूज ऑफ केमिकल्स एंड अदर पेस्टिसाइड्स सो ओवरऑल अगर हम देखें तो इट हैज मोर एडवांटेजेस ओवर द केमिकल फर्टिलाइज केमिकल पेस्टिसाइड्स व्हिच वी यूज but there are certain demerits associated with biocontrol agents which are sometimes they do affect the product quality also these pathogens predators parasitoids which we use for biological control they are not able to completely destroy all the pest and large one is for a large scale uses they cannot be implemented so these are the demerits of the biocontrol agents
our crops are being damaged by pests and diseases. Integrated Pest Management, or IPM, aims to suppress pests and diseases below the economic threshold, while respecting environmental considerations as much as possible. IPM uses a whole set of tactics, including the use of chemical crop protection. However, the use of chemical crop protection in agriculture and horticulture is becoming more and more restricted. Nature has its own methods to protect plants against pests and diseases. Naturally occurring enemies attacking insects, bacteria, fungi and viruses, which potentially cause damage in plants. This results in a natural balance. These natural enemies exist in all kinds of forms. The natural enemies of pest insects can be predators, parasitoids or pathogens. The natural enemies of pathogens are antagonistic bacteria, fungi and viruses, which suppress the growth and activity of the plant's pathogens. Cropping systems often lack sufficient enemies, leading to crop damage. Fortunately, we're able to develop biological control products from the naturally occurring enemies. After collecting, selecting and multiplying the best performing natural enemies present in their natural environment, we're able to develop them into biological control products. Aphids are among the most problematic pests in fruit orchards, causing economic losses of up to 80% when not suppressed. Aphids feed by piercing and sucking the leaves, resulting in twisted, rolled and curled leaves. An aphid infestation weakens fruit trees and leads to small, non-marketable fruits. Within Biocums, we developed a product based on the use of parasitoid wasps. These wasps lay eggs inside the aphids. The wasp larvae hatch and feed on their hosts, ultimately forming a cocoon inside and killing them. These parasitoid pupae in the skin of the dead aphids are called mummies. Fruit growers start to release the parasitoid wasps at the beginning of the growth season, when the buds of the fruit trees are swelling. This ensures that there are a lot of wasps before an aphid population has had the chance to spread in the orchard. Mummies are released from cardboard tubes placed inside the growing areas. The parasitoids emerge from the mummies and fly into the orchard. Even heavy aphid infestations are prevented by the parasitoid wasps and fruit orchards are left to produce healthy and good-looking fruit. The Tuta absoluta moth came to southern Europe from Central and South America about 10 years ago. The larvae of this moth attack plants such as tomatoes, as well as potatoes, at all stages of plant growth. The female moths lay their eggs on all above-ground parts of the tomato plant, the leaves, the stem and the fruits. The larvae feed on leaves, 
producing extensive galleries that result in malformed leaves and secondary infections with fungal diseases. They can also infest ripening tomatoes. This may lead to serious yield reductions and a loss of fruit quality. Within Biocums, we developed a product which is based on a virus that is harmless to humans, the environment or other beneficial insects. This product is called the FOP-GV virus and is sprayed on the tomato plant regularly, starting with the first occurrence of tuta larvae. It kills the larvae and prevents further damage. This product can also be used against potato moths in potatoes.